prices rise when the government prints too much money. The 1970s were a period of steeply rising prices, or inflation. At the worst, in the late 1970s, inflation was running at 10%. That means the average price in the economy, typical price, was rising about 10% per year. The 1970s, inflation started with some shocks driven by OPEC, the or Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Oil prices skyrocketed, and that started inflation in the United States. Economists define inflation as a rise in the overall level of prices. Inflation is any time the supply of money has increased by, say, the government printing more money, so that we have more dollars chasing the same number of goods, and the price of goods rises simply to reflect the increase in the amount of money that is available. That's classic inflation. The Federal Reserve Board in the United States determines how much money is in circulation. It's very tempting to print lots of money. If you print lots of money, people temporarily feel wealthier. Politicians generally urge the Federal Reserve Board, historically have urged the Federal Reserve Board to be easy with money, to print lots of it. Why not? Uh, it doesn't cost anything to run the printing press other than a little bit of electricity and a little bit of paper, and yet it makes people feel good when the bills are floating around the country. In the long run, actually in the medium term, within months, if the Federal Reserve Board is not responsible, if it's printing too much money, then that begins pushing prices up in the economy. As money becomes more available, its value shrinks and prices rise. Once inflation starts spiraling upwards, it's hard to get it under control. In the 1990s, we haven't had very much inflation. And the main reason is that we've had a lot of stability in the money supply of the United States. The government hasn't been printing a lot of extra money, and goods and services have been growing at about the same rate as the amount of money that's available in the economy. And if they grow at about the same rate, then we don't end up with very much inflation, because we never have this situation where we have too much money chasing too few goods. The slow inflation of the 90s is a result of vigilant anti-inflationary policies at the Federal Reserve. It has slowed down the printing presses and maintained slow, stable growth in the quantity of money circulating in the economy.